So friends, let's see today's delicious and really easy Goan stew. So now I've taken 200 grams of boneless chicken breast and cut them into small cubes. To that I'm going to add 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. I'll leave a recipe of how I prepare my ginger garlic paste at home. I'm also going to add a pinch of salt. So if you're making the ginger garlic paste, just use 5 cloves of garlic and 1 inch of ginger and make a paste. Now we're going to mix all of this really well together and we're going to set this aside for at least 15 to 20 minutes. Now I'm going to take a pot to which I'm going to add 4 cups of water. Let, the, uh, uh, you know, let it come to a boil, I mean let it start to heat up and we're going to add 1 Maggi soup cube. And we're going to now let this start to heat up and come to a gentle boil. And then I'm going to add 1 teaspoon of olive oil. You can also use 1 teaspoon of butter. Now once the water starts to boil, we're going to add 3 4th cup of macaroni. And we're going to let this macaroni really boil and cook just till it's a little bit underdone. We don't want it to be very soft. Just a little bit underdone or al dante. Now in the meantime, I'll just show you the spice powders that we're going to use. So this is one teaspoon of pepper powder, one teaspoon of elaichi or uh, cardamom powder, that is two elaichis. This is one teaspoon of clove powder, so I've taken five cloves and half an uh, inch of cinnamon. I've made one teaspoon of cinnamon powder. So those are the spice powders we're going to use. Now our uh, macaroni is all ready, so I'm just going to drain it and we're going to retain the stock that is the water in which we boil the macaroni. Don't discard that. So now, again in the same pot, I'm going to add one teaspoon of oil. And I'm going to add this marinated chicken. And we're going to fry this chicken really, really well. Till it turns a nice white color. And then we're going to cover and cook it for about a minute or two. And then you'll see that the color of the chicken has changed. And then you just take it out into a separate bowl. Now I'm going to add the stock back to the pot. The pasta stock. To that I'm going to add two carrots that I've peeled and chopped into cubes. Two small potatoes that I've washed, peeled and cut into cubes. So I just kept them in some water so that they don't discolor and then I'm going to drain off the water and add the potatoes. And I'm also going to add half a cup of peas. Now we're just going to boil this till the potatoes are just, you know, done. We don't want them to be mushy, but just done. So just take a knife and just check on the potatoes. They should just be able to, you know, you should be able to cut them really easily. So that's done. So now you're just going to drain all the veggies back on top of the uh, macaroni. So now in the same pot, I'm going to add one teaspoon of oil. So this is a, basically a one pot go and stew. Now once the oil is nice and hot, I'm going to add one green chili that I've chopped fine. We're going to fry the green chili really well so that it flavors the oil for a little bit of a spice. Spicy uh, taste. Now once the chili gets fried nicely, we're going to add one medium onion that we've chopped fine. Now fry the onion really well till it becomes nice and translucent. I have another recipe also for chicken stew which is completely different. I'll leave a link to that below. Now once the onions are nicely fried, I'm going to add one medium tomato that I've chopped fine. Fry the tomato well too. And now I'm going to add all these spice powders that I just showed you, that is pepper, clove, cinnamon and uh, uh, cardamom. Mix all of this really well together. Now I'm going to add the fried chicken back in. Mix it up well. And now we're just going to cover and cook this for about a minute so that everything comes together nicely. 
So you can see that everything has come together well. Now I'm going to add all of that stock back in. Again, cover it and cook it for about a minute. And now we're going to add all of the veggies that were just parboiled as well as the macaroni. Mix everything nicely together. Just check for the for salt. If you want to add some more salt, you can add some salt at this point or you can add some more spice. That is, uh, if you want to add more pepper, you can do that. Again, cover and cook it. And after about five minutes, your lovely goan stew is all ready. This goes very well with some soft pow or bread.
friends, I hope you like today's recipe as well as today's video. And if you would like to see more videos like this, then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up. Also, by, by clicking the thumbs up icon. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes. Once you have subscribed, there is a small little bell icon that will pop up. So just click on that. That way, whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video, you get a message for the same. So on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.